Welcome to Covers as Puck Props with 14-year NHL vet Carlo Koliakovo, a man who despises Jesper Fast, that's for sure. My God. Yeah, you thought that game was going under. I thought that game was going under. My Should Bob have gone Brosky, under. Yeah, my Bob Broski, Con Smythe took a slight hit with Kachuk, keep scoring these big yeah. goals. But here we are again, looking at the, basically the same script. Vegas, even money, minus 105 or plus 105 at the time of recording. Dallas, minus 120. Vegas up 3 nothing in the series, minus 2,000 to win the series. Dallas closed minus 155 in game three. They opened that minus 130, and they opened game four, minus 125. Kind of the same script we're leading into from yesterday, Carlo. Down 3-0. You've lost your captain. Dadanoff is doubtful. Your number one goalie has been extremely unreliable. You're coming off a shutout. Your fans are throwing garbage at the opposing team mm-hmm. and on the ice. I know it's the same question I asked about the Florida series, but – can Dallas be at their best tonight or is it white flag time? Well, they have to be, but it's going to be challenging, right? I mean, they're missing two forwards. How do they replace what Jamie Ben brings to that lineup? You saw, you know, what it did for them. It kind of deflated them this last game and uh, dad and off who's been, you know, a, a supplementary player, you know, a guy down the lineup, but, I don't know if he's going to be better or worse than whatever guy they bring in. I don't know who the guy is that they're going to fill those two spots with, but you know, we weren't too far off of our game strip last game with both Florida and with Dallas and Vegas, but the game script changes when a guy, an important player leaves the game, right? I mean, Slavin leaves the game yesterday early on with a massive hit by Sam Bennett and, completely changes the game script. We see the most goals scored in that series, right? And same thing can be said about Ben in Vegas the other night where I know Vegas scored the first goal, but then when Ben takes the five-minute major, not only does he take himself out of the game, but they give up two goals and the game's over seven minutes in. So um, if only I, Mark Stahl didn't slow down, like what, what did he say? I, I I broke my fall with Mark. Oh uh, yeah, like you had a whole night to to think about what you were gonna say, and that's it's it. really sad that that's the, the the decision he made with those choice of words. But um, look, I, I think if you if you learned anything from Carolina last night, I mean they could have easily packed it in when they lost some of their players in that game yesterday. But they went down swinging. They went down with a fight, and I expect Dallas to at least show up and fight this game. Whether or not they win or they don't, um, it's going to be more challenging without those two players in the lineup. And especially, you know, with Jake Ottinger, what do you I think that's the crazy thing about all this is that he's been pulled four times this playoffs. Yeah. But he's also played really well in the games that he's played, right? What and I guess the question Dallas is asking, which guy's going to show up tonight? So look, the hardest game to win in a series is always the fourth one. Um, and I imagine that's probably going to be the case tonight. That leads us to Vegas. Team total over two and a half, minus 127. That's a pinnacle. Playing this to minus 135. Ottinger, I think we can say he's not been good. As as bland as that is, he he just hasn't. I've been trying to find Mm -hmm. a way to back him. I've been trying to find a way to to look at the stats and say this is a goalie that's better than he's playing, but he just isn't. Other than a handful of games, he's played 16. He has a sub-900 save. Goals against average north of three. Currently sits 18th of 21 playoff goalies who have played at least four games in goals saved above expected per 60. And then we look at just the games. I mean, it's an easy thing to look at. How many 900-plus save percentage games did he have? Mm. Seven of his 16. So nine of his 16 games, he's had a sub-900 save percentage. He's also played 78 games this year, wow. which is by far the most he's ever played. 58 games last year. 29th the year before i think the narrative behind the goalie is better than his numbers and i think this vegas team can keep piling on uh, over two and a half is a good spot even in those games we saw like in florida like they get up and then they don't really keep the keep the foot on the gas pedal on the offense you know what i mean but i think mm. at two and a half I, I think we can get there second question Sorry, here, I just- I was just checking my phone. The Dallas Stars have just recalled Maverick Bork and Rhett Gardner. So those are the two guys that are probably going to replace Jamie Ben and Dadanoff. Oh, I'm 
No markets obviously available for them. I don't. I wonder if we'll even get uh, any time goal, but doesn't sound like uh, doesn't sound like a lot of support coming for the offense of, of Dallas. That's for sure. Vegas, you talked about it yesterday about the blue line depth and the size of the blue line and or just how big people are playing. Vegas has been playing with a carousel of goalies we know this year and are riding Aiden Hill now, who is carving himself out a nice one A role going into whatever season next year. Alec Martinez, Shea Theodore, McNabb, Petrangelo, and even Hag and White Cloud on the third pairing. Dallas is getting more shot attempts on net, uh, but they're not getting a lot of high danger chances. Mm. Vegas is holding them to the lowest amount of high danger chances than any team in any series in any round so far in the playoffs. What does this team do so well defensively for Bruce Cassidy to have the success and to shut down offenses? Well, they, they each each one of their players is playing with a, an extreme amount of confidence. And I think that um, that that is something that is brought upon just because of the trust that the coaches have in these players. Um, you know, from from the from the red line in defensively, they just they're they're very well positioned. Um, you know, they play physical um, and they really protect the front of the net which is what, what has made it hard for great offensive teams like Edmonton in the previous series and like Dallas uh, to find some of the struggles that they're having. And, and I think a lot of what they're doing with their structure is um, something drawn up with their scheme to protect the goalie, right? I mean, um, Aiden Hill wouldn't be on most people's, you know, top three list, but he's like their fifth goaltender. And, they're they're not making that an excuse for them, and they don't they're not using it as a wasted opportunity. If anything, they're just finding a way to um, the, you know, create a game plan that will insulate that position. And I think um, you know because of that, um, they they're opportunistic on offense. You know they use their defensive play. It's almost like the way coaches coach in basketball, or even even in in football, where. You know, and a lot of the focus is on the offense, but I think the coaches always preach, you know, great defense will create better offense. And I think that's what you're seeing the Vegas Golden Knights rally around or at least, um, um, you know, persevere through is the fact that they create their chances offensively because of how clean and how sound they play defensively. Yeah, Logan Thompson, Laurent Branson. And Aiden Hill, they've made. Don't forget games. Jonathan Quick. There's a guy there too. Oh yeah, right? Jonathan Quick. Yes, uh, <laughs> I mean, this is Aiden Hill is literally like their fifth goalie going into yeah. the year. It's it's amazing what they've done uh, with the goaltenders that they've just put in. It's it's more system it seems than I would assume goalie talent. But Aiden Hill, like I said, playing his way to a contract. Tyler Sagan under zero point five points. I think. I was looking to fade Dallas on a point, and I think this is the best one. Minus one twenty four. That's at FanDuel. Like I said, Dallas has the lowest high danger chances of all 16 teams in round one, which is pretty insane. And now that number is even lower in round three here versus Vegas. Second playing with Max Domi and Joel Akivi Ranta. Mm -hmm. That rolls off the tongue and not on PP1. So zero points in the series, just one point in his last eight playoff games. Doesn't get first crack at Ozone starts. There's not a lot to like. I know because obviously uh, the issues with Ben and Dadnoff that there could be more minutes distributed before in front of their top six, but uh, I, I just don't see Dallas really running up the score here. And Sagan just doesn't get first cracks. No, I think it makes uh, complete sense. You know, again, we're we're talking about a team trying to find different ways to provide offense right now without Jamie Ben. I know Ella, Sagan's going to be elevated to that, but you know the way Vegas is playing defense right now, you can see it in, in the Carolina series too. It starts to get into your head afterwards, right? I would think so. And I think maybe it's maybe getting into some of the Dallas players head, especially coming off the shuttle last game. Um, so you just, you just got to play the odds here, right? Play the odds. The fact that, uh, you know, Dallas or Vegas ain't giving up much and, and Tyler Sagan isn't one of their go-to guys. I wouldn't say he is a go-to guy, but he's not one of their top ones. Exactly. The, the the big three are obviously going to get first cracks at, at everything. So uh, I think this is the best under point on the market for the Stars. Tyler Sagan under 0.5 points, minus 124. I'd play that to minus 135. 
I think that's gonna that's gonna wrap it up for. Uh, hopefully, this is the the uh, the end of the, of the Western Conference. I mean, I do lean Vegas today. The market's going that way. Uh, if you can't get that Vegas team total over two and a half minus one twenty seven, some books are at minus one forty. I think you pivot just to the Vegas money line at uh, even money at that point. But uh, some serious adversity from Dallas. Everything stacked against them, and the betting market's starting to see that. Uh, I mean. Good God, your fans were throwing popcorn. Your fans were throwing popcorn. <laughs> How about that? Coming up for the third period, just a bag of popcorn. Yeah, didn't flinch. Like the most no. professional thing, didn't flinch, just no. skated right on. Yeah, no. no, that didn't happen. Oh, God. So let's do that. It's been a great uh, Western Con- – it's been a great conference run. Uh, we might only get eight games, but uh, let's keep uh, winning some picks here. Vegas team total over 2.5, minus 127. Tyler Sagan under 0.5 points, minus 124. I'm off for a long weekend, pal. Wish the L awesome. stars. Oh yeah, ball tournament in Niagara, bud. Let's nice. go. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Hit some dingers. Oh yeah, absolute nukes. <laughs> I'm Josh Ingles. He's Carlo Koliakovo. This is covers. Hit the like, subscribe button. Lead us out, Carlo. Have a great weekend, bud.